Gallagher 123123. Good to be back again. We're going to take a look at something a little different. I've never reviewed anything like this before. We're actually going to take a look at a home security system from kind of a blindness perspective. The one we have here is from Simply Safe. You might have heard of them S I M P L I S A F E. Basically, they're a kind of install yourself security system and you pay for monitoring, which is only like 14 a month or 24 a month, depending on the plans that you want. So I'm standing near the keypad, and I'm just going to describe the system we have. In terms of sensors, we got two entry and one motion. The system also comes with the keypad, which you're seeing, and a keychain remote, which I'm not going to show here, but it's very simple. But, so to the left here is the door, and you, as you can see, we have a door sensor on it. And actually with the door, if I go ahead and open this, unlock it, and when I open it, I don't know how well you'll be able to hear this, but hopefully you heard that little ding, which meant that our door was open. So, and then you also have a base station, which is, we keep it kind of in a hidden spot, which is what they recommend. Don't think you're going to be able to see this very well. Oh yes, you can. There it is. So it's very hidden. Like, you can't see it at all now. So we're going to go back over the keypad, and I'm going to show you how the system works. And give you a description of the buttons. So... This is the keypad. At the top you have a screen, and then you have the following buttons. Off, away, and home. Below that is like a telephone style keypad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then star and pound do kind of their own features, and of course there's zero. Then you can probably see there's a red panic button. Pressing that would start the alarm shrieking. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the door chime first now that I just turned off the air conditioner. So when I open this, oh, I must have locked it again. So when I open this, you heard the ding. So now I'm gonna show you how to arm it so you can you protect it. You can arm it in either home or away mode, and we're gonna start with home. Now you should be able to hear this. When I press home, The base station talks, and it said that the alarm was on and that we're in home mode. Now to disarm it, we just type in your, your four-digit pin code. So I'm going to do that. Hopefully you can hear the keypad beeping. And now it said that the alarm is off. So now I'm going to show you what happens if you press away. And now it wants us to leave the house, so I'm going to try and be very still for the minute. So it's basically doing a little ding sound. And it's counting down. Try and get to the... So the light on the keypad went out, but we're getting down to um, the end, which is when... We need to be out of the house because we have it in away mode. So it's dinging. Sorry, you can probably hear the TV in the background, which I'm trying to talk over a little bit. So we don't get a copyright. But it's dinging. Let's see if I can. Oh, okay. I'm going to be quiet now. So now it's that the alarm is on, and it's in away mode. So now if I open the door, because we're coming home now, you'll hear the entry delay. So now i got to put in my pin. And now the alarm is off. Now I will let you hear what happens when the alarm goes off. 
The way we're going to do this is I'm going to use home mode again. So I'm going to arm it in home. And there you go, you heard that the alarm is on. So home is the one above three, and away is above two, because I didn't describe that well enough. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to open the door, and it is going to do, we have it on a 10 second entry delay. We have a longer one for away mode, but in home mode, you have 10 seconds to put in your pin, and I'm not going to this time. So this is going to trigger an alarm, and you're going to hear what this does. So I'm going to open the door, and we're going to have 10 seconds to put in the pin, which I'm not going to do. That's going to go off. This is going to be loud. So you hear that? Now I'm going to type in my pin. Now hopefully you did hear that. It said that there was a recent alarm triggered by an entry sensor. So that's basically how the system works. So I'm just going to make sure it's off and just put the So it is off now. And since we're done, I'm going to lock the doors locked and I'm going to put it back into home mode. Now that did not call anyone because when you first get the system, you have 72 hours to practice it and you know set off all the alarms you want pretty much. So we're good. So that is how Simply Safe works. A few other things I'd like to talk about though, and that is like changing settings. I'm not going to demo it here, but you can actually do that pretty easily. Actually, I will show you. Let me just disarm this. Alarm off. So I put in my pin code and it said alarm off. Now I'm going to press the star key, which is menu, and it wants the master code, so I'm going to put that in. So now we're in the menu. And in here you have numbered options, like change passcode, there's a couple, there's the passcode, there's dialing prefix if you want to hook up to a landline. This does not require a landline, by the way. You can do this with a cell phone, it has a cell phone built in, and that's how it communicates with the monitoring center. Okay, so I'm going to press the home button to go to the next option. Okay, so two, or three, is for adding a sensor, removing sensor, test mode, which allows you to test your sensors, and six, I believe, is to exit. Now, these do talk if you go into them. They don't read the menu choices aloud, but if I press away, which is serves as okay, it's going to enter the change pin menu, menu, and you'll hear or not. Okay, I'm just not did it quick enough. <clears throat> Put in the wrong code, okay. Okay, so now we're on the first option. So I'm gonna press button again. And it told us that we could enter a pin. I'm just going to hit star to get out of there. And then hit star again to go out of the menu. But the other way you can figure this is with a keychain remote and a computer. And unfortunately, the software to do that is Windows only, and it's not accessible with NVDA. Just going to... So that's an unfortunate thing, that this software is not accessible. And that's something that I would like for Simply Safe to address because I think it's an important issue. The other thing you could do, I'll talk about laundering plans. There are, there are two plans. There's one that's $14 a month and one that's $24 a month. And the $14 a month is basic monitoring. So, you know, they'll 
monitor the system. Then there's what they call like active like control or active monitoring, which allows you to change settings and get alerts through the web and through the app. You can also arm and disarm the system through that. Now we don't have that, we have the basic one right now. And I think they should allow you to change the settings through the web regardless. That, that would be a future change I wouldn't mind seeing. Just because, you know, that's the most accessible because that web interface is very nice. And it would just be easier, I think, than doing the keychain remote programming. Plus then with the keychain programming, you have to put it in the base to synchronize your settings. But that's simply safe in a nutshell. As you can see, you can use the system as a blind person once it's all configured because it does talk and play tones. And you even got to hear a siren trigger. So that is how the system works. If you have any questions, feel free to message me or get in contact and I'll try and answer your questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.